Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorite. This is for the month of September. So yeah, let's get right into it because I have a few products to show you. Um, a lot of these products are very, very new. I've been using them for the last month or so. So yeah, I'm super excited. So the first main product that I've been using and that I never thought that I was going to like, I actually thought I was going to end up returning it, is the MAC Pro Long Pro Long Wear Foundation. And it looks like that. And yeah, I've been loving this foundation. I've been using it every day. I have not used my um, CoverGirl 3-in-1. Um, I have been sticking to this one. I probably used my CoverGirl 1 maybe four times at the most um, throughout the whole month of September. And then the rest of the time I've been sticking to this one. I love the way it applies um, to my face. I use this with the Beauty Blender. It just gives me such a nice coverage without looking cakey. I love this foundation. It doesn't make me oily. I can't say enough about it. I'm in the number NC42. I love it. It's a wonderful foundation. If you're out looking for a new, um, maybe higher end foundation, I 100% rec recommend this foundation. It's wonderful for long wearing. I wear my foundation since probably 7 a.m. in the morning till 6 to 7 p.m. at night. That's um, 12 hours, 11 hours of wear. And it looks super nice, super fresh. It looks, it doesn't look, you know, like you're, you have spots in your face or like it's, you know, drained the color in certain areas. It just stays on your face. I love this foundation. So yeah, that's my first one. The other product that I also thought I was going to end up returning is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, Long Lasting, Oil Free, blah blah blah. I love this setting spray. It's wonderful. Um, this has completely replaced my model in a bottle. I love this, this setting spray. I think it does wonders. It sets your foundation and makes you look I don't know it doesn't make you look oily it just kind of refreshes your face that's how I see it like at the end of like when I apply my makeup and I spray this it just kind of gives me like a little bit of a glow I want to say I don't know it's weird but I love this setting spray Urban Decay I love it the only thing that I don't like before I go on is that it gets really dirty like because of the packaging so like my foundations rubbed off on it okay so then the next two items are these NYX concealers. I have mine in the color yellow and beige, I believe. Let me see. Let me double check. And beige. I used beige the first the first um, time before I apply my foundation. I always first use my um, concealer and I just set it around this area maybe on like my little spots because I do have like a couple um, dark spots on my cheek and then after my foundation I do go back in with um, the yellow right it's yellow yeah I go back in with, with yellow just to highlight around this area right here a little bit sometimes here and on my forehead love these they don't crease they last all day I love 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 these NYX HD Photogenic concealers, go get you some because they are only like $4.99. Love them. Then the other two items are mascaras, and the first one is the uh, they're real. And I went out and I got me the regular size one because I love this mascara. This is a bomb mascara. Go get you this mascara. It's a splurge, but go get it. I love this mascara. It's not only does it length this? It makes your lashes look fuller. I love to use it on my bottom lashes. Um, love it. Love it. It's super black. I, It's just a wonderful mascara. I love it. It's worth the $23. The other mascara is from L'Oreal and it's the Telescopic Shocking Extensions. I use this mascara because it has, let me show you the wand on it. It has a very small wand. So I like to use it on my bottom lashes. So I'll I use this one at the end but this is the first one that I use to just like separate my lashes and maybe give them a little bit more color and then to give them a little bit more fullness and to elongate them a little bit more I use the Benefit They're Real. These two mascaras are like my holy grail. I love them. 
Okay, so the next products that we're going on to are going to be lipsticks. And let me show you these um, L'Oreal. And these are the, what are these, the La Croix? I don't know. These are in another, you know, language. But <laughs> they're the newest ones that came out. And I got mine in the color 412. And in the color 411. And this one's like a very nudie color. I love this to like line out my lips and even like to just wear it on its own but I love it to line my lips and maybe put um, Ferris Nude inside it looks so pretty and then this one I have been wearing it on its own it's like a very purpley undertone pink it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous gorgeous color it gives you kind of like a gloss um, but it's not sticky at all it goes on your lips super smooth i love these love them and i think they're like 7.99 at the drugstore i love those and then the other one that i've been wearing a lot and i've been actually pairing it with this nude one here is um from revlon it's 668 it's prim rose and it looks like that and I just love this color for the fall. It has kind of like, again, like an, a purpley undertone, I want to say. It's uh, maybe like a mauve purpley. I don't know how to describe it. It's a gorgeous, very fall -y color. So I've been loving this lipstick. And then, again, I've been pairing this one with the one that I'm going to show you right now. And these two together look awesome as well. And this one here is um, the Cream Sheen from MAC and it's Cream Cup. And it looks like that. And these two colors look awesome, awesome together. They, they look so pretty. I mean, try them out. They look super, super nice. I love them together. So yeah, another great buy. I don't regret buying this lipstick at all. Um, the other two items are my brow technique that I'm using right now. And the first one is the Maybelline define a brow and medium brown and it comes with a little spoolie at one end and then it comes with a little retractable pencil on the other side and I've been loving I am obsessed with this I love it and I was about to go buy the Anastasia one which I probably am still gonna go get it um because I do want to try it out the only down thing that I could say about this that is like kind of a fail is that the little the little pencil keeps falling off like I have to keep retracting it it just it, it gives up on me so I don't know if maybe I'm just pressing it a little bit too hard because I do like my brows a little bit darker that's just that's just me that's just what I like um and the other thing that I've been using that I've been obsessed with is the Benefit Speed Brow. And this is like just like a gel. It's literally just like a gel. And it sets your eyebrows. It keeps them in place. It gives them a little bit of a color because it does have a tint on it. So these two are like magic together. I love it, this. And this is literally the only two items that I've been using on my brows. I haven't been using my powder. Uh, from Too Faced Cosmetics. I've just been sticking to that. So, love those. Okay, so the next two items are eyeshadows. And the first one that I'm going to show you is a Maybelline um, Eye Studio. And this is in the color Mad, Mad for Mob. And it's just a little quad like that. And the colors that I've been obsessing over is this one right here and that green one right there. I've been loving, loving those colors. Loving those colors. I, They're so, so pretty. I just, I love them. I love them. I use them like on my outer crease to darken, darken my eye. Um, loving them. And then the other ones for some reason these wet and wild ones I always have a hard time opening them that's the only bad thing okay so this one here is enlisting for beauty and it looks like that and the color the color that I gravitated towards when I purchased this one is this one right here 
which is like a, I hope you can see that. It's just like a nice transitional color. These two I really haven't played with at the bottom, but this one I've been using as um, my first like base color and transition color. I love that color. It's such a, such a pretty color. And this one I actually bought it in a packet of, um, with the mascara, which I haven't tried out yet. And I got it for like $2.99, I believe, at CVS. So yeah, love this. Love, love, love that. Okay, so then the other item, I think I mentioned this on my other favorites video and it's still one of my favorites is the Too Faced um, Milk Chocolate Soleil and Light Medium Matte Bronzing. I love this bronzer. Um, I just love it. I love the way that it smells. I love everything about it. I love the way it um, just gives you a very natural bronzy look on your skin. It doesn't look, you know, like you have mud on your face or anything like that. I just, I love it. I love it. And then the other one is um, from e.l.f. And this is a contouring blush and bronzer. And this one is in San Lucia. And I've been loving the bronzer as well. I haven't really played with the blush. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I have. But the bronzer, I love it. It does have a bit of a shimmer. So if you don't like shimmer, you won't like this. Um, but it goes on flawlessly for being $3. It's a great product. So love that. And then the other item is my highlighter. I haven't found another highlighter like this one, to be quite honest with you. I've been searching and searching. And even the one that I recently purchased from MAC, which I'm not remembering the name of it right now, but it's so glittery, like super, super glittery. I just like, just like a very like natural shimmery, kind of just glowy look I don't like all that glitter on my face I hate it and this is just a perfect glitter and this is Tiki again from Heart Candy love it love it love it I'm not sharing the price I need to get a Walmart for maybe around five six dollars but yeah awesome product okay the other product that I want to mention is a nail polish because I'm obsessed with nail polishes and this one's from Essie and it's twin the twin sweater set it looks like that. It's what I have on my nails now. I'm obsessed with this color. I love it. Um, I took off this color because I went and I got a manicure. And I took it off and I tried another color. And then I'm like, no, let me go back to this color. I'm obsessed with this color. I think this is a great fall color that they came out with. I love it. And this is about $7.99, I believe. So, yeah. And then the other two things that I got are not really beauty related but I've been loving the scent on this and this is the caress evenly gorgeous and burnt brown sugar and it looks like this and I'm like not even halfway through it's a great size um, I've been using this every day in the shower I love it it leaves your body smelling so like nice and like very fall like like I don't know how to explain it like a very like I don't know like cappuccino I don't know it's weird but it's a beautiful beautiful scent and I've noticed that when I'm getting out of the shower I even smell it like in my shower is I love this love it and I think this is like five dollars four dollars something like that the other thing that I've been obsessed over is the purity um, from philosophy is my cleanser that I use with my Clarisonic. I have to go get me the bigger bottle. I'm just waiting to finish this off. I'm about halfway done. Love this stuff. It, I mean, the, Claris, the Clarisonic on its own leaves your face very, very soft, very smooth. But adding this to it, I noticed that my face like feels so like baby, but like it's just super, super soft. I love it. It doesn't really have a scent, so I like that about it. Um, just love it love it go get you some if you have a clarisonic and you haven't tried this this is bomb.com for that so yeah and that concludes again another monthly favorites i hope you girls enjoy um and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll catch you girls on the next one bye